Hey guys, it is Julie here with Tip Ranks. In today's video, we're taking a look at three strong buy stocks in the aerospace industry that all have a double digit upside according to analysts. So let's get into it. All right guys, welcome back and thank you so much for being here. Like I said, today we're talking about stocks in the aerospace industry. Now all three of these stocks are rated strong buys by analysts and have some pretty healthy upside potential as well. So we're going to take a closer look at what these companies and what it is that they do and what analysts are predicting for their stock's future. Just before we get into all of that, this is your friendly reminder that if you enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. Okay, let's get right into these three aerospace stocks. The first company on our list today is called Spirit Aerosystems. They trade under the ticker SPR and are currently priced at $40.76 per share. They are a major operator in both the civil and defense aerospace sectors. And based out of Kansas, they are the world's largest manufacturer of first tier aero structures. With expertise in aluminum and advanced composite manufacturing solutions, the company's core products include fuselages, integrated wings and wing components, pylons, and nacelles. Also, Spirit serves the aftermarket for commercial and business regional jets. Although headquartered in Kansas, they have facilities all across the US, UK, France, Malaysia, and Morocco. Earlier this month, they announced that they were joining forces with Lockheed Martin's Skunk Group to unveil Polaris. Polaris is a digital engineering and advanced assembly demonstrator that was used to validate improvements in product development from initial design to final assembly at an event back on August 10th. They integrated commercial best practices around digital design and manufacturing seamlessly into Lockheed Martin's IDE, enabling the collaborative development of production-ready solutions that build on the strengths of both the Spirit Aerosystems and Lockheed Martin teams. In other exciting news, it was recently seen that Kathy Wood's ARK Invest has increased their position in this stock. They now own over 346,000 shares in the company. Those shares are worth approximately $16.3 million, and ARK Invest increased their stake in the firm by 723% compared to the first quarter of 2021. Spirit Aerosystems also recently shared their Q2 earnings report, where they saw an increase in both revenue and earnings and came in ahead of analyst expectations. At the top line, their revenue of $1 billion was up 11% from Q1 and up an even more impressive 55% year over year. Their earnings per share did come in at a loss of $1.30 per share, but that was a strong improvement from the $2.46 loss reported in the year ago quarter. The increase in these numbers was due to overall deliveries increasing as well, as we saw 243 ship sets delivered compared to 159 in the year ago quarter. One analyst covering this stock is Charles Minervino. He says that demand for domestic air travel in several major markets has been stronger than many had anticipated, and we expect this momentum to continue as economies reopen. Spirit Aerosystems is well positioned to benefit from these positive trends as Boeing and Airbus look to ramp up production and delivery rates in response to rising demand from customers. Altogether, the stock has seven analysts with current ratings and it comes in as a strong buy based on six buys and one hold. The average price target of $56.57 would be an upside potential of 38% for this next year. On the low end, we have a $50 price target, which would be a 23% upside. And on the high end, we have a buy rating at $60 from last month, which would be growth potential of over 47%. The second company on our list today is Aerovironment. They trade under the ticker AVAV and are currently priced at about $100 per share. Aerovironment is a popular stock with hedge fund managers. In fact, 80% of their stock is owned by institutions. The company, which was founded back in 1971, is deeply involved in the production of unmanned aerial vehicles or drones for the Defense Department. They are technology solutions providers at the intersection of future defining capabilities. Whether their customers are warfighters searching for the enemy or telecom providers connecting billions to the global digital economy, they deliver innovative technologies that help their customers achieve their goals and do so with unprecedented accuracy and precision. They have a majority share of all unmanned aircraft in the U.S. Department of Defense's inventory with their small unmanned aircraft systems. And in fact, this made up 61% of their 2020 company revenue. 
Last month, they were selected by the U.S. Special Operations Command for a $22 million Beyond Line of Sight ISR Services Award under their Mid-Endurance Unmanned Aircraft Systems Program. They also received an order totaling $15.9 million from the U.S. Air Force for their Puma 3AE and Raven unmanned aircraft system. Aerovironment shared their latest quarterly earnings back in June, where they had record revenues. The company showed top-line revenue of $136 million for the quarter and $395 million for the year. That revenue was supported by a record backlog of funded orders totaling $211.8 million. During the fiscal year, they also made several acquisitions, which will allow the company to expand their addressable markets. One analyst covering the stock is Kenneth Herbert from Canaccord Genuity. He says that we believe Air Environment remains well positioned from a strategic perspective, with the fundamentals for U.S. military procurement of unmanned systems remaining heavily prioritized relative to other defense programs. Following the company's recent spat of acquisitions, they now have an expansive and highly competitive product portfolio to submit bids for government drone platform solicitations. The Aero Environment stock currently has four analyst ratings and comes in as a strong buy based on three buys and one hold. Their average price target of $130 would be an upside of 28%. Now these are a couple months old as they came out after their recent earnings report and range between 19 to 38% upside. And last but not least, we're taking a look at Howmet Aerospace. They trade under the ticker HWN and are currently priced just above $32 per share. Howmet is an aerospace manufacturing company known for their widely diverse product lines. That includes jet engine components, titanium fasteners and structures for aerospace applications, and forged aluminum wheels for heavy trucks. The common denominator is high-end metallurgical technology, a key specialty in high-tech engineering and manufacturing. They focus on four different segments, including engine products, fastening systems, engineered structures, and forged wheels, with 70% of their revenue coming from the aerospace end market. Their technology helps support growth on next-generation engine programs, including innovative cooling, advanced casting and coatings, and rapid new product introduction. These proprietary technologies drive efficiency, resulting in lower fuel use for improved emissions and a smaller carbon footprint. Earlier this month, Howmet released their Q2 earnings report, and the results did come in a bit mixed. The top-line revenue was down year-over-year. Year. The second quarter saw $1.2 billion in total revenues, compared to $1.25 billion in the year-ago quarter. Earnings per share, however, was up and strongly. The year-ago quarter saw a loss of $0.19 cents per share, while their Q2 saw a profit of $0.17 cents per share. On a positive note, they did end the quarter with a cash balance of $716 million, and they achieved this after redeeming $470 million in debt and repurchasing $200 million worth of common shares. They also have a $1 billion revolving credit facility that is currently undrawn. Covering the stock is Seth Seifman from JP Morgan. He says that Q2 was not a shoot-the-lights-out quarter, but it was never supposed to be. Aero demand is still gathering, and Howmet is assembling the people and preparing the equipment required to support it. Meanwhile, disruption in the truck OEM supply chains is temporarily cutting into their forged wheel shipments, but final demand is robust. The Howmet stock has four current analyst ratings and comes in as a unanimous strong buy. The average price target of $39.50 would be an upside potential of nearly 21%. And all of our price targets come in relatively close, ranging from 19.5% to 22.5%. So there are three stocks in the aerospace industry that come in with strong buy ratings and some pretty attractive upside potential. Now, I'd love to hear from you guys. Were these companies on your radar before? Are they stocks that you already own? And what one do you think has the best potential? Please make sure to leave your comments down below. I always love hearing from you guys. Always keep in mind though that these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock and are just meant for information and entertainment purposes. Please make sure you're always doing your own research and due diligence before making any investment decision. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you back here next time.